Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today on Habitat Hints, we're also going to be talking again about aquatic vegetation, and today we're going to be talking about water celery. That's what it's known or called, but there's another scientific name it's called as well. I'm going to be joined by MDC's Darby Nicewanger, and she's going to tell us all we need to know about this and where you can get more information about different types of aquatic plants that are going to be good for your pond. We'll talk to her just in a second. Let me turn this around and we'll talk with Darby. All right, Darby, so you're holding water celery or whatever, what else is it called as well? It's also known by its genus name, Balsanaria, but water celery is a lot easier to say. Yeah. But it does um, look kind of like a seaweed or like a marine species, but it's actually a native freshwater species. A lot of times it's found in Ozark or Clearwater streams in the south part of the state, mm -hmm. but you can plant it in your own pond, and we do use this species to plant in um, NBC managed areas to encourage um, good aquatic habitat. We recommend that at least 20 to 30 percent of a pond or a lake be covered in aquatic vegetation, and that's just to encourage the use of um, Little bitty fish will use mm -hmm. these to, when they rear, the aquatic insects will lay their eggs on this and hatch out and, and that's forage and food for fish. And really just to start that base of the food chain, aquatic vegetation is really what um, you're wanting to, you know, you're wanting to get that established. So the, the idea is these will, you can plant, see the little roots, you can just plant these right in the ground you can just stick it right in the ground like you're planting a bedding plant. And it just really kind of is underneath the surface. It's easy to fish through, so you're not going to be tangling your hooks and all of that, your lures and all of that in here. But the plant, the fish really like it. I mean, it's, it's, if you imagine a full bed of this, the fish can get in and hide. So another thing is grass carp really like it too. So if you have grass carp, in your pond, you want to make sure and put a cage around this until it gets established okay. because it does look, if I was a, a grass carp or something that ate vegetation, it looks pretty tasty. Oh yeah. So, um, so yeah, we want to make sure that we don't, um, we don't have predators eating this while we get it established. Awesome. Awesome. And where can we find more about this or learn more sure. about this so that those landowners that if they do want to purchase this, they can sure. come and plant it just like you did, just sticking it in the ground. Mm -hmm. Very, like a bedding plant. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can find more on our website at mdc.mo.gov. Um, you can also contact your local private lands biologist to find out information about where you can purchase these native aquatic plants in your area. Awesome. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Darby. And again, uh, this is all called water celery. And of course, a very simple way of planting it. It's a great vegetation, aquatic vegetation for all the fish. Uh, you can learn more about this, just like she said, on our website at mdc.mo.gov. Thank you. You all have a great rest of the day.